easily three-star the Lunar New Year Challenge with this tutorial. The event attack showcases the Dragon Champion Hero skin available in the Gold Pass, which if you are purchasing, you can support a creator beforehand by entering their code. My code is Judo, and it is very much appreciated. It was fun to break down this base and develop the strategy. You can notice the new scenery shown in it as well, alongside the other hero skins available later in the month. But let's get you your three star. Start by assuring that your Grand Warden is set to A mode. This will help with the dragons later in the attack. Your first move though is to use all seven bat spells next to the Warden statue at the top. This will flush out the northern area, including all of the monoliths. Three balloons to the Western Mortar. Once this falls, you can then use your Flame Flinger over here. Usually the Mortar outranges the Flinger, but it's now well protected. Notice the monoliths are beginning to go down, so we can use a minion to the top of this army camp. Should the air defense lock on, you can use another minion, but normally that's not the case. A dragon on the spell factory, and if you've got that final minion, use it at 12 o'clock. One barbarian as close as you can to this dark elixir storage. Use a second if both of the Teslas do not pop. Use a rage spell to the right of the cannon and then an Electro Dragon to the right of the cannon. This means it can chain not just the first air defense, but the second air defense as well. We now move to the south of the base. Start with the Ice Golem and follow this with your King, Queen, Royal Champion and Valkyrie and a Barbarian to the south of the Clan Castle. This pulls the Golden Dragon and the Skeletons. Freeze the Golden Dragon once it gets there and after the Skeletons are down, use the Barbarian ability and the Queen ability. You now want to use your freeze spells to try and hit two of the multi archer towers to the left and the right side. Split your invisibility spells to whichever heroes need the most support. I will use it on the royal champion. Looks like the king is coming over this way as well. Once you've used the second invisibility spell, then send in all eight dragons across this right side with the warden. This final balloon, you can sometimes snipe this ricochet cannon. The Flame Flinger was about to get it anyways. And use your Barbarian to that left side. Hold the Warden ability for the moment. Notice the Elixir storage to the right of the Town Hall. There's a bunch of Seeking Air Mines above that. So we can use the Warden ability as they are taking damage from the Town Hall. But just about to move past that Elixir storage. And it means if we use it now, look, we can protect through those Seeking Air Mines, damage from the Town Hall and part of the poison of the town hall because most of the time we don't need all of the dragons to get through the town hall we only need a couple of them since we have more than enough power at the other side of the base as well best of luck with your three stars on this one my friends if you want to see when i rick rolled clash of clans at the world championships and give yourself a good laugh i have that video linked on your screen